Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 tips for zero waste grocery shopping and I'm also going to be taking you with me as I do my weekly shop. I hope some of these tips help you out to reduce your impact on our planet and if you have any more tips to share that I haven't spoken about in this video, make sure you leave them in the comments below so we can share ideas um, in the comments and learn from each other. So my first tip is to buy loose where you can. Thankfully it's usually pretty easy to buy loose as the fruit and vegetables that are loose tend to be right next to their cousins that are packaged up. So instead of just reaching out for the packaged carrots, potatoes, whatever it is you're grabbing, reach for the loose, which is usually right next to it. I know it sounds really simple, but it really does make a big difference. I find that people tend to grab things out of habit, so they just know the types of potatoes, the types of carrots that they usually go for, and they just mindlessly reach for it. Whereas if sustainability is in your mind, you'll look and you'll say, oh, actually right next to it is a better option, and then that'll become your habit. Tip number two is to shop at local markets over supermarkets. Most places have a local market, whether that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or sometime in the week. There is a market that is at least on one day of the week. And then you can make sure that your schedule works around the times of the market, and there's going to be plenty more loose fruit and veg at those markets than there is going to be at your normal supermarket. Tip number three is to make things from scratch rather than buying pre-packaged foods. Pre-made foods usually come in plastic packaging and if you just buy the ingredients loose then you make it yourself, it's completely zero waste. Tip number four is to eat plant-based foods. Plants are usually unwrapped because there is no issue with cross-contamination, rot or disease so they're much more likely to come unpackaged. Tip number five is to bring your own tote bags, produce bags, jars, bottles, containers, lunch boxes, whatever you can find around your house to take with you to fill up. Oftentimes places have loose fruit and vegetables, but then to carry them home, they provide you with a plastic bag. Or even sometimes a paper bag, which is a much better option, but it's always even better to just take your own bags that you can just reuse every time. That way it also becomes a habit and it becomes part of your routine and it just is a lot simpler. So rather than just going 50% and reducing your waste, this tip just makes sure that you completely eliminate any waste, which is fantastic. Tip number six is to make sure you buy as locally as possible to reduce your air mileage. Oh, food miles. Did you think about food miles? 1.75 miles for all this stuff. How about that? Tip number seven is to buy in bulk so that you can freeze so when you need that item and you can't find it um, without plastic packaging at a supermarket or something in the last minute, you have it there all ready to go. Tip number eight is a little bit contradictory to my last tip, but hear me out, it makes sense. Just buy as much as you need. Food waste is a huge part of the waste in this country and the Western world in general, and buying just what you need will make sure that you're not contributing to the food waste. Planning your meals a little bit more will make sure you know exactly what you need and how much to reduce your food waste as much as possible. Tip number nine is to buy organic where you can. This will reduce pesticides, herbicides and toxic chemicals being leached into our soils and our foods. And tip number 10 is to enjoy it. Things are only ever sustainable if you can transform them into being a part of your routine and that is only possible if we enjoy them. I hope this video gave you some tips to reduce your waste next time you go food shopping. If you like this video and want to see more like this, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.